sea que estén pasando. Yeah, the a vine. Yeah. But this is a saying it's a plant. Oh, okay. Although a great plant vine is a plant, it's not specifically saying that. Okay. okay. Yeah, it can grab on to. But then it goes on into verse 24. Okay, aquí vemos en el versículo 24. His bow remained taut. What would that mean? Su arco se mantuvo poderoso. ¿Qué significa Riggers? esto? It's strong. Fuerte, es fuerte. Okay, if the bow is taut, it means it's strong. It's going to be able to take a lot of pressure. Si el arco es uh, poderoso, significa que es muy fuerte. And then his hands were made nimble. Why do you need nimble hands to fire a bow? He's studying. <laughs> mm. You got to have that and you have to be able to release it properly. Los brazos están fortalecidos, que se necesita ese esa fuerza para poder mantener el uh, la, el arco uh, derecho. You need strength. So the living water. Poder el agua viviente from the shepherd. Del pastor. Who's your friend? Que es tu amigo. Who feeds you? Que te alimenta. Who gives you the good, clean water? Que te da esa agua limpia. Now it changes what you're reading now, doesn't it? Ahora esto cambia lo que estás leyendo. Once you understand what the meanings of words are, cuando entiendes ese significado de palabras it usadas, it changes a lot of what you're reading. Cambia mucho de lo que estás leyendo. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the Next one. Ahora vamos a continuar con la próxima. Slide 89. Página 89. We're going to go to Psalm 80. Ahora vamos a Salmo 80. Psalm 80, verse 1 through 6. Salmo 80, versículo 1 al 6. Anybody learn something? You learn something over there, Hurricane Sandy? Getting it all up here? No notes tonight? got them trained right. Psalm 80, verse 1 through 6. Everybody got it? Shepherds of Israel, listen. You who lead Yosef like a flock, you whose throne is on the Kirovim, shine out. Before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Menasheh, rouse your power and come to save us. God, restore us. Make your face shine, and we will be saved. Adonai, God of armies, how long will you be angry with your people's prayers? You have fed them tears in their bread and made them drink tears in abundance. You make our neighbors fight over us, and our enemies mock us. So going back to the first verse, um, regresando al primer versículo. The psalmist is saying to uh, to the Jehovah Roi, listen, please. El listen. salmista le está diciendo a Jehovah Roi, escucha. Listen to our our prayers. Escucha nuestras oraciones. Because it goes into tears. If you uh, look at verse five. Si miramos el versículo cinco. You have fed them tears as their bread and made them drink tears in abundance. See, when you don't follow God's word, cuando no sigues la palabra de Dios, and your enemies are attacking, y tus enemigos están atacando, they're attacking because God has taken His hedge of protection around, away from you. Te están atacando porque Jehová ya no tiene esa protección sobre ti. Because you have not made Him your Jehovah Roi, your shepherd. Porque no lo hiciste tu Roi, tu pastor. And Israel has gone through this many times. Israel ha pasado esto muchas veces. And she's going to go through it again very shortly. Y va a pasar esto otra vez, muy, muy cercamente. Lebanon was firing some rockets into her the other day. El Líbano estaba uh, tirando o lanzando cohetes eh, oh. dentro de Israel. Over the last week, the, the Philistines have been 
firing many rockets into Israel. Y sobre los últimos días, los palestinos están, o los filisteos, uh, están lanzando cohetes dentro de Israel. The Syrians are putting troops on the Golan Heights. Los sirios están poniendo tropas en uh, el llamado Golan Heights. So, there's going to be a lot of tears soon. Así que va a haber muchas lágrimas muy pronto. If you're attacked on every side, si tú estás atacado por cada lado, la única manera que Jehovah Roi te va a salvar es si oras antes de que eso pase. And you turn back to him before it happens. Y tú regresas a él antes de que esto pase. And here in verse 4, y en el versículo 4, Jehovah, God of armies, how long will you be angry with your people's prayer? That goes back to Proverbs 28, verse 9. Esto regresa a Proverbios 28, 9. If a person does not follow Torah, even his prayer is an abomination. Si una persona no sigue el Torah, hasta su oración es una abominación a Dios. So here, this shepherd is being called upon. Así que este pastor uh, lo están llamando. How you gather, a, like Joseph, like a flock. Uh, verse 1. Yeah. Middle of verse 1. Uh, pastoreas a las ovejas de José. And then it talks about the throne, which is above the caravine, which is above the Ark of the Covenant. Y habla, habla sobre el trono que está eh, sobre esos querubines, que es en el... Uh, I'm sorry. The Ark of the Covenant. El Arco del, uh, del Pacto. And then he's asking, make your face shine upon us. Y luego él está diciendo que su rostro uh, brille sobre ellos. But if you don't want to follow his ways, Pero si no quieres seguir sus maneras. When you're crying, just take your medicine. Cuando estés llorando, solamente toma tu medicamento. As we've talked about a bunch of times. Como hemos hablado muchas veces. Ah, you're going to give your child uh, the, the boom whacker. <laughs> Le vas a dar uh, a tu... A tu hijo eh, ese castigo. Or as many of us got the belt when we were kids. O como muchos eh, recibimos la faja de nuestro Or padre. Or my mother's favorite was a wooden spoon. O la favorita de mi madre fue esa cuchara de madera. How many people got the hairbrush? ¿Cuántos de ustedes recibieron <laughs> con el, uh, uh, con un cepillo, con un peine de, de, de pelo? You didn't do that to him? You should have. <laughs> What did you get? You got the belt? <laughs> okay. Okay. So, you know, the child is always repentant when they're getting their chastisement. El hijo siempre se arrepiente cuando está recibiendo ese castigo. But look closely at verse 5. Pero vamos a ver más cercamente el versículo 5 ahora. You have fed them tears as bread. How many people want to have a couple of slices of bread? ¿Cuántos quieren uh, tener uh, tajadas de, de, de pan, de lágrimas? Okay, so here, what you're eating as no, your man. bread is your tears. So, así que tu pan va a ser las lágrimas. Okay. Um, and then, he, then this David is saying here, he gave them a whole loaf of bread. <laughs> David está diciendo aquí que le dio un pan entero. But he's still calling on Jehovah Roi. Pero él está aún llamando a Jehovah Roi. Jehovah Roi, Shema, escucha. Uh, Jehovah Roi, escucha. He wants him to listen. Él quiere que él lo escuche. Okay, so here, the shepherd, you're getting the, the rod now. Así que ese pastor... Te está dando las ovejas con esa vara. Yeshua says, you know, sometimes you got to break that leg so that sheep doesn't wander off anymore. En veces tienes que quebrar esa vara para que ya no se desvíe esa oveja. The whole hope is not to get your legs broken. La esperanza es que no te quiebren las, las piernas. But it's better to have broken legs than to be dead and away from God. Pero es mejor tener las uh, piernas rotas que estar muerto y estar alejado de Dios. All right, let's go on the slide. Number 90. Isaiah 40. Vamos a la página 90 y vamos al libro de Isaías 40, versículo 10 y 11. Yeshiyahu, Isaiah 40, verse 10 and 
Isaiah 40, verse 10 and 11. Get your Spanish Bible out. <laughs> Isaiah 40, verse 10 and 11. Isaías 40, versículo 10 y 11. Isaiah 40. <laughs> Told you guys sit close. Isaiah 40. Isaiah 40, verse 10 and 11. He com here comes Adonai Elohim with power, and his arm will rule for him. Look, his reward is with him, and his recompense is before him. He is like a shepherd, feeding his flock, gathering his lambs with his arm, carrying them against his chest, gently leading the mother sheep. It's an interesting passage. Es una escritura muy interesante. Does anybody else? What do you find interesting about this passage, Consuelo? ¿Qué es lo que uh, miras de interesante? Focus on the arm. <coughs> Speak up, I can't see you. No, I didn't hear anything. Oh, okay. I just saw it was those concerts, you know, just, I didn't hear something. The arm. Well, here, like a shield, an arm is protecting. Su brazo es como un escudo. Yes. Yes. What? Uh, she's saying that he's not going to return like he did beforehand. Now he's going to return as. As. That's what? An elephant? That's a lion. An elefante? Okay, como leon, like okay. a lion. Uh, I'll second the motion. Okay. <laughs> yes, Wendy? Can and I Steve? share what verse 11 says in some of our scriptures? Uh huh. He feeds his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs with his arm and carries them in his bosom, gently leading those who are with young. Mm hmm. Like a mother sheep. Right. Yeah. What would be so dumb there? Here it says Chest. Chest. Yeah, Stearns' translation sometimes uses words that I would probably choose differently. Uh, that one, the, script, the scripture one, I'm, yeah, yeah scripture. that has the, the W instead of the V for Yehovah. They do Yahovah. Instead of the Yehovah. Um, basically the same. But what about the arm? Gathering the lands with his arm. Who's the arm of the Lord? ¿Quién es el brazo del Señor? And how do you know that? Because it's sent out by the hand of God. And how do you know that? Because in Revelation 5, it's a scroll on the right side. The only person who was slain, of, the lamb was slain. Oh, for us. That's why he opened it. It was worthy to open that scroll. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Steve? Would, um, would also Adonai Elohim have something? Because it's talking... Adonai. Well, we're going we're gonna to get into what I don't... But I'm really looking at the arm. Okay. Me estoy enfocando más en el brazo. Well, you're saying, how do we know that Yeshua is his arm? Does that have anything to do with... It comes Adonai Elohim. Uh-huh. Adonai being the father, Elohim, you said plural, correct? Uh-huh. Father and son. Uh-huh. Yep, that, that's good. But his arm will rule for him. The arm. The okay. arm will rule for him. Me estoy enfocando en el brazo. El brazo va a señorear o va a reinar. What prophet talks about the arm? He's shy. Yeah, it's, it's and shy. what does it say? Because it's, it's from a rule from 
But it's specific to the arm. Pero es uh, del brazo. Isn't uh, Isaiah 53 the um, the lamb shank? The um, Zoroah. The Zoroah. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Come on, let's talk. <laughs> so it's, it's talking about his reach. Turn to Isaiah 53, everybody. Come on. Vamos this a is Isaías. like the passage. Vamos a Isaías 53. If you know anything, this is the passage to know. <laughs> si ustedes van a saber algo, este es la escritura que deben de saber. And in the Hebrew, this is the word, Zoroah. En el, en el hebreo, what's, esa palabra, Zoroa. What's the Zoroa? ¿Qué es ese what's, Zoroa? What's on the Seder dish? ¿Qué es lo que se encuentra en el plato del Seder? What did the rabbis put on the Seder dish? ¿Qué es lo que, qué es lo que los rabinos... No, what did the rabbis put it? ¿Qué es lo que los rabinos ponen en esa... What was the last thing we did at Pesach? ¿Qué fue lo último que right. hicimos en, en la Pascua? Oh, that was the first thing. A lamb bone. What's the lamb bone called? ¿Qué es el, uh, ese, ese hueso de el cordero? Llamado. Zoroa. Zoroa es en el not hebreo. A lamb bone. Pero no es, no es el hueso del cordero. Isaiah 53.1. Isaías 53.1. Who believed our report? To whom is the Zoroa of Adonai revealed? The arm. El brazo. The arm. It's El right there in the Seder dish. El brazo que se encuentra en ese plato del Seder en la Pascua. He's the shepherd. Él es el pastor. The Zoroa. Now you go back to the other passage. Ahora vamos a la otra escritura. The arm. Right. Right. You mean in the name of Yeshua? Or yeah. Salvation is a hand. Yeah, the double the, the, the double hay with the vav is separated, yeah. When we did that earlier, yeah. And the art. What Jen what Jen is saying Look at Jennifer está diciendo the Yod Hey and the Vav Hey. The El Nombre del Señor, Yod Hey Vav Hey. Hey is what? Hey is que. Hey is what? Come on, it's part of the message. Hey is... Hey! Hey! Five. Five is what? Hey is el quinto... Grace. Hey is el quinto... Es la quinta letra en, en hebreo. Outreached. Arms outreached. In praise. Right? Y Separated by what? The vav in the middle. Uh, yeah. The yud hey vav hey. And hey is... And 15! <laughs> Ten commandments! Good. <laughs> okay, <let's>, uh, <laughs> Uh, okay. Rabbi, also uh, in uh, Deuteronomy, I was looking at that one because um, uh, it says here in 33 verse 2, at the end of 33 verse 2, it says that his right hand was a fiery, fiery law, law for them. Yeah. At his right hand. Yeah, Deuterim. You want to look at Deuterim, Deuteronomy. Okay, si quieren ver uh, Deuteronomio 33, 33.2, versículo 2. Adonai, King, oh, everybody turn in. Deuteronomy, Devarim. Deuteronomio 33. 33, verse 2. Let everybody turn to it. 33, versículo 2. I was saying, Michele, you're going to be sleeping there. Devarim 33, 2. You might want to underline this in your Bible. Quizás quieran... Uh... So you Tomar can witness to the Christians who say we don't need the law anymore. Para que puedan uh, evangelizar a los cristianos que dicen que ya no necesitamos las leyes. And then you tie together with John chapter 1, 1 through 14. Uh-huh. <laughs> Deuterim 33, got it? 33, 2. 33, versículo 2. Deuteronomio 33, versículo 2. Adonai came from Sinai, from Seir. He dawned on his people. Shown forth from Mount Paran, and with him were myriads of the holy ones. At his right hand was a fiery law for them. A fiery law. 
Who sits at the right hand of the Father? ¿Quién es el que se sienta a la mano derecha del Padre? Well, he said, I am at the right hand of the Hav Gavrura, the power. Okay. He was plugged in, baby. Él dijo que él estaba en ese poder de la mano derecha. Yeshua is solar powered. <laughs> He was green before there was green. Mm. In the green jobs, man. Perfectly green. <laughs> Fantastically green. Okay, so it's really good to know that one. So when people say, oh, Yeshua is all love and stuff like that. No, he's the fiery law. Él es la ley de fuego. Okay. La mano derecha. At his right hand. La mano derecha. Jehovah Roi, the shepherd. Jehovah Roi, el pastor. You see how it all starts to tie all together? Así que podemos ver como todo, todo interlaza. Yes. He's in fuego. In the fiery law. Okay. Everybody see it? Got it, Dan? It's like Miami Heat, fire, heat, you know, something like that. <laughs> yes. When you saw also the, the part of your head, it also when you need him to remind you as a as a Zechariah, also it's going to be good. Yep, he's that fire that burns off the dross. Él va a ser ese fuego que va a quemar todas las impurezcas, las impureces. And you know they got to turn up the heat, right, Margarita? You got to turn up the heat. Is it hot out there? <laughs> it was 90 degrees in Alaska. 90 degrees, yeah. 90 degrees so, in Alaska. 90 degrees, yeah. It's been, it's been like that for a yep. while. All right, let's go back to Jehovah Roi. All right, now, Isaiah, back to Isaiah 40. Now, okay. let's look at it in a different light, Consuelo. Ahora vamos a ver esto en otro, otra pista. One study at a time. Isaiah 40, verse 10 and 11, back to Jehovah Roi. Isaías 40, versículo 10 y 11. Now, Consuelo, can you tell me a little bit about the arm in verse 10? Come on, you have a master's degree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sí. Diez y once. Margarita, what do you think about the arm here in verse 10? ¿Qué piensas del brazo aquí, Margarita, Now that en el versículo 10? Taking a look at the other part. Ahora que ya hemos visto, visto las otras partes. Okay, she's saying she's still studying it. She's still <laughs> analyzing it. <laughs> well, what are arms good for? ¿Para qué son los brazos? Picking up stuff. <laughs> Moving boxes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Cajas. stuff. Carrying children, <laughs> showing affection, acarrear niños, eh, mostrar afección. What, to lead, to direct, dirigir, bring the airplane in, dirigir el, el ave, el, el, shoot the basketball, shoot the basketball, <laughs> tirar el baloncesto. You need your arm and a hand. Necesitas el brazo y la mano. No, remember, para... hand in Hebrew is yad. It goes from here. To hear. Acuérdese que en el entendimiento uh, hebreo, el brazo viene de la mano al codo. That's also a cubit. Eso es llamado un cubit. Anywhere como from 18 to 24 inches. Es uh, de 18 a 24 pulgadas. También la mano derecha para bendecir a los hijos. Uh, also the right hand to uh, bless the children. Right hand to bless the children. Mano para bendecir a los niños. Left hand to chastise. It's stronger. <laughs> left handed. God's a left hand. <laughs> uh, what else do we do with our arms? Okay, ¿qué más hacemos con los brazos? What would Jehovah Roi do? ¿Qué es, lo que, ¿Qué es lo que Jehová Roi hiciera con sus brazos? Okay, she's saying to sustain us in uh, his arms. To sustain us. Get the hand of favor. That's the hand of blessing, she said, the right. What about building? Okay, la mano de bendiciones. Build your house on the rock. Uh, hey, no, no, hacer listen, hacer listen, tu hogar en, en la roca. All right, let's take it back. Jehovah Roi. Jehovah Roi. The arms. Los brazos. That protect us. 
los brazos que nos protegen. Now with that understanding, go a little further. Ahora con ese entendimiento, ahora podemos uh, profundizar uh, nuestro entendimiento. Yeshua says, build your house on the rock. Yeshua dice, construye tu hogar uh, sobre la roca. Dig a deep foundation. Haz una fundación buena en esa roca. How are you going to do that? ¿Cómo es que vamos a hacer esto? You need arms. Se necesitan brazos. You need that fiery law. Se necesita esa eh, ley de fuego. You need the Isaiah 53 scripture. Necesitas esa escritura de Isaías 53. Digging a deep foundation. Poder uh, tener mejor entendimiento. Then you have Jehovah Roi. Y vas a tener a Jehovah Roi. And he will be your shepherd. Y él va a ser tu pastor. Because he's your friend. Porque él es tu amigo. He's your special friend. Él es tu amigo especial. Now look at verse 11. Ahora vamos a ver el versículo 11 ahora. He is like a shepherd feeding his flock, gathering his lambs with his arm, carrying them against his chest, gently leading the mother sheep, or babies. So, how would the roi feed us? ¿Cómo es que el roi nos va a alimentar? How would he feed us there, Consuelo? ¿Cómo nos va a alimentar, Consuelo? In the beginning, and the word was, and the word was God. What's the word? ¿Qué es la palabra? The fiery law. La ley del fuego. What's the word for word? Que es la palabra para palabra. The bar. The bar. The bar. What is the word for promise? The bar. Que es la palabra para promesa. The bar. Promise. The bar. How is he going to feed you? Como es que te va a alimentar? In the palabra. La palabra de Dios. You see how it all comes together if you know what the name means? Pueden ver como todo esto uh, tiene mejor uh, significancia cuando sabemos qué son los nombres de Dios. You understanding, Margarita? You see it? Okay. He is a shepherd. Él es el pastor. Speak up a little, please. Él es el pastor. Um, the shepherd feeds his sheep. El pastor alimenta a sus ovejas. How does a shepherd feed his sheep? ¿Cómo es que el pastor va a alimentar a sus ovejas? With the word. Con la palabra. What's the word for word in Hebrew? ¿Qué es la palabra para palabra en hebreo? The bar. The bar. What's the word for promise in Hebrew? ¿Qué es la palabra para promesa en hebreo? The bar. The bar. In the beginning was the promise. En el comienzo estaba la promesa. The promise was with God. La promesa estaba con Dios. The promise was God. La promesa era Dios. He is our Jehovah Roi. Él es nuestro Jehová Roi. He is the one who's the fiery law. Él es el, la ley de fuego. He's carrying us. Él nos está sosteniendo. He's gathering the, she the sheep. Él está juntando las ovejas. Gently leading them. Está dirigiéndolas. But occasionally, Pero, he has to use the rod and the staff. Ocasionalmente tiene que usar esa vara uh, para llamarlos la atención. You see how it all comes together if you know what Jehovah Yeho Roi means? Pueden ver como todo esto eh, tiene mejor significado cuando entienden Jehovah Roi, el nombre de Jehovah Roi. All from a name. All from a name. All from a name. Okay. Todo esto de solamente un nombre o un título. All right, let's go on to slide 91. Okay, vamos a la página 91. John 10. Juan 10. El Evangelio Yo. de Juan. John. El Evangelio de Juan 10. John 10, verse 14 through 18. Versículo 14 al 18. Is this deep enough for you, Wendy? <laughs> Uh-huh. Wild branch. Yeah. Yeah. He's really good. John 10, verse 14 through 18.
What do you got? Okay, oh, it also ten. Go, go to Luke and make a right. You're going to add to that too far. John 10, verse 14 through 18. Evangelio de Juan 10, versículo 14 al 18. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life on behalf of the sheep. Also, I have other sheep which are not from this pen. I need to bring them, and they will hear my voice. And there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why my Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it away from me. On the contrary, I lay it down of my own free will. I have the power to lay it down, and I have the power to take it up again. This is what my Father commanded me to do. Underline verse 18 in your Bible. Hagan una nota aquí en el versículo 18. To tell any one of those pagans who say that the Jews killed Messiah. Para decirle a esos paganos aquellos que dicen que los judíos mataron a Yeshua you let them know, no, Yeshua gave his life freely no, Yeshua dejó, dio su vida libremente and it was the Goim that put him up on the cross y eran lo, las de las naciones que lo pusieron en esa cruz because the Jews had no power to kill porque los judíos no tenían poder para matar but Yeshua said, I do it freely pero Yeshua dijo, yo lo hago libremente But here, look at verse 14. Pero aquí, mira el versículo 14. I am the good shepherd. I am Jehovah Roi. Yo soy el buen pastor. Yo soy Jehová Roi. I am the arm of the Lord. Yo soy el brazo derecho del Señor. I am the one from Isaiah 53, the Zoroah. Yo soy el de las escrituras de Isaías 53, the Zoroah, el Zoroah o el brazo derecho del Señor. I am Deuteronomy 33:2, the fiery law. Yo soy Deuteronomio 33:2, esa ley de fuego. You see what Yeshua was saying to those Jews with just that line. Puedes ver lo que Yeshua les estaba diciendo a esos judíos con esa línea solamente. Would everybody like me to go over that again? I went a little fast. Okay. Todos <laughs> quieren que les dé este repaso otra vez. Well, you better write quick. <laughs> All right. I am the good shepherd. Yo soy el buen pastor. I am Jehovah Roi. Yo soy Jehovah Roi. I am Isaiah 53:1. Yo soy Isaías 53:1. The arm of the Lord. El brazo del Señor. I am Isaiah 40. Yo soy Isaías 40. Those arms. Esos brazos. I am Deuteronomy 33:2. Yo soy de Deuteronomio 33.2. That fiery law that sits at the right hand of the Father. Esa ley de fuego que está a la derecha del Padre. I am the one in Revelation. Yo soy el del Apocalipsis. Who can open the seals. Que abre los sellos. At the right. Takes the scroll up from the right hand of the Father. Él tiene ese rollo. Toma ese rollo de la mano derecha del Padre. See what he was saying in just that one verse. Pueden ver lo que estaba diciendo solamente o simplemente en esa escritura. Because he's tying himself together with the Father here. Porque él se está conectando con el Padre aquí. I am his son. Yo soy su hijo. Father asked me to do this for him. Padre me dijo que yo hiciera esto para él. To lay down my life for the sheep. Que yo diera mi vida para las ovejas. Those are the ones that were crying. Esas son los que estaban llorando for disobedience to the law the fiery law por desobediencia a la ley la ley de fuego and no they won't be raptured out y no no van a ser raptados or no they'll get taken first o si sí, se los van a llevar primeramente and what happens to those that are taken first y que son que va a pasar con aquellos que son tomados primeramente they get put in the fire ellos van a ser puestos en esa lumbre and then the other ones get brought into the barn second y los que quedan van a ser traídos a la granja. The, no, the barn. Uh, What's el, barn? Es, ¿El establo? No. El establo. El establo. Establo. It's a male version? Barns are male? Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Steve. Oh, no, um, so, you said uh, God called upon the sun. Yes. Well, so, so 
God chose Yeshua to go, or did Yeshua say, pick, choose me? If you go back to Proverbs, Yeshua says, I danced in his light from the very beginning. So he lay, Yeshua took upon this job. Okay. Yeshua fue el que decidió tomar este trabajo. He took the job because nobody else wanted it. Él tomó ese trabajo porque nadie más lo quería. Everybody got it? Move on to the next one. Okay. Ready to move on to the next name? Continuando con el uh, próximo nombre. Sli slide number 92. Okay, página 92. What's that one, Consuelo? It's on the airplane. What's on the Isra what's the Israeli national airline? Wow, you threw your voice to Jeff. That was cool. Can you do that again? <laughs> That's good. L. Ok, escrito aquí en hebreo es la palabra o el nombre, L. L. Slide number 93. Ok, página 93. L. 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 <laughs> Not Yod. No Yod. Not Hey. Not Hey. No Hey. L means God. L significa Dios. The one true God, Jehová. El único Verdadero Dios, Jehová, the mighty one. Veronica, mighty one. El Todopoderoso. Yeah, there you go. Strength. Fortaleza. Power. Poder. Give everybody a chance to write that all down. El. El Al Airlines, the mighty airline. <laughs> the airline that has the one true God, Jehovah. Uh -huh. La aerolínea El Al, el que tiene el nombre de Dios. Okay, give everybody a second to write that down. Everybody got it? She's still squinting. <laughs> All right. So, and this name is found in the Bible. This is a name. Y este nombre, este es nombre. It is found in the old, in the Tanakh 248 times. Uh, es encontrado en el Antiguo Testamento 248 veces. So it's a pretty important name. Así que es un nombre muy importante. As we're going to find out. Como vamos a conocer. Slide number 94, turn to Genesis 14. Ok, página 94. Vayan al libro de Génesis 14, versículo 18 al 20. Génesis 14, versículo 18 through 20. Génesis 14, versículo 18 al 20. Génesis 14, versículo 18 through 20. Everybody have an orange. That's a children's ministry. <laughs> they're building something. Oh, they're building the houses where the puppets say. Genesis 14, verse 18 through 20. Everybody got it? Got it, Margarita? Melchizedek, king of Shalem, brought out bread and vine. He was Cohen of El, El Yom. So he blessed him with these words. Blessed be Avram by El Elyon, maker of heaven and earth. And blessed be El Elyon, who handed your enemies over to you. Avram gave him a tenth of everything. So there, El is um, 
tied together with El Yon, which we'll go over later. El está interlazado con El Yon, que vamos a ver un poco después. But we're going to focus on El here. Pero vamos a enfocarnos en la palabra El. So what, what does El mean, everybody? Así que, ¿qué significa El? The one true, one true God, Jehovah. El, el único Dios verdadero, Jehová. So, Melchizedek, the king of Shalem, brought out bread and wine. He was Cohen of El, the one true God, El Yom, the Most High. So he blessed him with these words, Blessed be Avram by the God Most High, maker of heaven and earth. And blessed be El, the God Most High, El Yom, who handed your enemies over to you and gave him a tenth of everything. So you see how it changes when you understand the meaning of what El is. Así que podemos ver que todo cambia cuando vemos el, el significado del nombre. The God Most High is this one. El Dios Altísimo es esta. So this Melchizedek, Así que este Melchizedek, the King of Peace, el Rey de Paz en hebreo, and we already went through that in Isaiah 9, 6. Y ya vimos esto en Isaías 9, 6. When we went over Sar Shalom, the Prince of Peace. Cuando buscamos Sar Shalom, el Príncipe de Paz. And Yeshua would be uh, on the order of Melchizedek, a king and a priest. Yeshua sería de esa línea, parte de esa línea de Melchizedek. So who's Melchizedek? Así que quién es Melchizedek? It's Yeshua himself, who's El. Es Yeshua mismo. Que es él. Okay, so he blessed him with these words. Así que él lo bendició con estas palabras. And then you see El El Yon, maker of heaven and earth. Podemos ver aquí al Dios Altísimo, creador del cielo y las los cielos y la tierra. And that goes back to the first line of scripture. Y eso nos lleva, nos dirige a esa primera línea de las escrituras. Genesis 1. Genesis 1. Who owns everything? ¿Quién es el que es dueño de todo? The eight. The eight. The maker of heaven and earth. El creador de los cielos y la tierra. The owner. The eight shows ownership. The eight muestra ese adueñamiento de and, las cosas. And here Melchizedek is saying he is the maker of heaven and earth. Y aquí Melchizedek está El diciendo is. que él es el dueño de todas las cosas. Yes. Wait. <laughs> 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 so who was Mickey today? Is you sure? He was you sure? Yes. Melky Zedek is Yeshua. Melky, king, Zedek, righteousness. But he was a king, right? This guy was a king. So. Where does he come from? Sure. Were you here for the first study, or were you still in, coming in from the city? Isaiah 9:6. I think I was here for the first study. First study. Who is the Sar Shalom? Yeshua. And what's the Sar Shalom mean? Prince de Paz. Yes, Prince de Paz. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Who's? What does Melchizedek? Was, was, was Melchizedek a, a, a living human? Uh, evidently, so how he brought out wine, though? bread and wine. Shh. He brought out bread and wine. Okay, so Melchizedek era un hombre. What does Yeshua say? El, tra el trajo el vino. I am the bread el of life. El dijo, yo soy el pan de la vida. Yeshua's title in Isaiah 9, 6, the Prince of Peace. Yeshua, el título de Yeshua this es Príncipe man, de Paz. Physical, physical man that just pops out of nowhere and never to be seen again. <laughs> okay. Which ties together, remember? Yes, no, I do. I, I remember do. Samson's parents? Yes. With part of, what should we say your name is? And he said, why are you asking my name? It is Pelé, not the soccer player, although the Cosmos are back. <laughs> Pelé, wonderful. Pelé, wonderful. What's one uh, of the other? Maravilloso. What's one of the other? Counselor. Counselor, who's Melchizedek? ¿Quién es Melchizedek? So is that another name for him or title? Melchi is king, Zedek is righteousness. King of righteousness. Who's the king of righteousness? Yeshua. So it's a title. 
It's a title. It's not a name. L is L is a name. L is nombre. Melchizedek es título. If you want to watch the other studies, are on our website. The other the other four parts, because we we went over Isaiah 9:6 for two weeks for four hours. <laughs> okay, more. You understand? Good. You sure? Because I'm right here. No, we're good. We're good. The key is king of righteousness. La clave aquí es Melchizedek o rey de justicia. Sí, yeah. Melchizedek. Melchi que es rey y Zedek que es justicia. justicia. Okay. So he's the king of righteousness. Así que él es el rey de la justicia. He's bringing out bread. Él está trayendo ese pan. What does Yeshua say? ¿Qué es lo que Yeshua dice? I am the bread of life. Yo soy el pan We de la vida. We did that song a couple weeks ago. I have a holy passion. Bread of life. Okay. And then, what did he do as his first miracle? Yeshua did? What was his first miracle? ¿Qué fue el primer milagro Mario, de Yeshua? Have the song playing in your head. It was a wedding. What did he do? Right. Who's the, who, six? Who? Uh, go on. Okay. L, the maker of heaven and earth. L, el creador de los cielos y la tierra. L, who handed your enemies over to you. L, que te dio tus enemigos a ti. Okay, everybody see that one? Todos pueden ver esto. Because we got another name to go after this one. Okay. We're tenemos, finish this study, this, at least part of this study. Tenemos otro nombre aquí. Slide number 95. Okay. Página 95. Genesis 31. Genesis 31. We'll get you past that paper, paper armor. What's up? We'll get you past some paper armor. Genesis 31, versículo 11 al 13. So you can figure it all out. This takes a little while. Let it hang up on them, Tris. If they, there you go. Genesis 31, verse 11 through 13. It takes a while to start tying all the puzzle pieces together. Genesis 31, verse 11 through 13. L. Everybody got it? You're drinking hot tea on a 100 degree day. Then, in, a dream, in the dream, the angel of Elohim said to me, Yaakov. And I replied, Hineni. He continued, raise your eyes now and look. All the male goats mating with the females are streaked, speckled, and muffled. For I have seen everything Levan has been doing to you. I am El, a bait El, where you anointed the standing stone with oil where you vowed your vow to me. Now get up. Get out of this land and return to the land where you were born. In verse 13, it says, I am El. En el versículo 13, podemos ver que él dice que soy The el. God Most High. El Dios Altísimo. If they keep doing it, just tell them, to, um, Hang, hang up on them and then private message them. Let it reset itself. Let, you got to click on them. Hang it up on them. Yeah, it's got to reset itself. Okay. Um, I am El, the God Most High. Yo soy El, el Dios Altísimo. And you anointed the standing stone at the house of God Most High. Y ungiste la piedra de... El Dios más alto, o el um, God most high, right? Yeah. Dios altísimo. Okay. Um, and once again, he's saying to Yaakov. Y una vez más, le está diciendo aquí, a gonna, Jacob. He's going to give you all this land. Que él te va a dar todo ese terreno. Okay. So when the Arabs of the Middle East... Cuando los árabes, de, los árabes del Medio Oriente. You didn't wait long enough. That 
God changed his covenant and gave it to Ishmael. Que Dios cambió su pacto y le di, se lo dio a Ismael. It, um, you see that with Jacob. Puedes ver que con Jacob. That God gave the promise once again. Que Dios dio su promesa otra vez. Let it go for over a minute. Okay. Well, if you need my phone to text them, take it. Okay. So, El, the God Most High, Así que El, el Dios Altísimo, is once again making the covenant here in verse 13. Está haciendo ese pacto otra vez en el versículo 13. I'm going to bring you back to the land you were born in. Yo te voy a traer a ese terreno donde naciste. Where was he born in? Donde nació él? Canaan. En Canaán. Where did God give the, the promise to? A quien le dio la promesa Dios? To Abraham. A Abraham. Who gave it to Isaac. Que se lo dio a Isaac. Who now is also again being confirmed by El here to Jacob. Que también he sido confirmado aquí con Jacob. Okay, so you see why it's important to understand who El is. Por eso es importante saber quién es él. Because it goes back to the promise. Porque regresa a la promesa. Of God Most High. De el Dios más altísimo. So when somebody says that the covenant has been broken. Así que cuando dice alguien que el pacto fue roto. You show them the verse 13. Tú les enseñas ese escritura en versículo 13. Where God is reconfirming. El is reconfirming his promise. Donde está confirmando una vez más. Su pacto. All right, let's go on to slide number 96. Okay, vamos a la página 96. Deuteronomy 4. Vamos a Deuteronomio 4, versículo 23 y 24. Deuteronomy 4, verse 23 and 24. Deuteronomy 4. Devarim 4, verse 23 and 24. Deuteronomy 4. Deuteronomy 4. Verse 23. And 24. Versículo 23 y 24 en el capítulo 4 de Deuteronomio. Watch out for yourselves so that you won't forget the covenant of Jehovah, your Elohim, which he made with you and make yourself the carved image, a representation of anything forbidden to you by Jehovah, your Elohim. For Jehovah, your Elohim, is a consumer of fire, consuming fire. A jealous L. In this uh, one, I, I made sure that I had all the all the names there also for you. Quería tener aquí todos los nombres para ustedes. Um, what you're seeing there, you see Jehovah, you see Elohim. Vemos aquí Jehová, Elohim. You see in verse 24 also Jehovah, Elohim again. Vemos en el versículo 24 Jehová, Elohim. But then you see something very interesting at the end of verse 24. Pero también vemos algo muy interesante en el final de la oración de 24. Who's jealous? ¿Quién es celoso? Who's jealous? ¿Quién es celoso? Sandy, who's jealous? ¿Quién es celoso? Dayon's jealous. <laughs> El is jealous, right? El es celoso. And he's the God Most High. Y él es el Dios más altísimo. He's saying, Jehovah Elohim. Is a consuming fire. Jehová Elohim es una llama consumidora. And he's very jealous. Y él es muy celoso. Okay. Uh, he's also going in verse 23. En el versículo 23 también. Talking about the covenant. Vemos el pacto. What would be the covenant? ¿Qué sería el pacto? What do you think, Betsy? What's the covenant? ¿Qué es el pacto, Betsy? Okay, the Ten Commandments. Huh? The, just the Ten? I thought there were 15, and then they dropped one. 
Okay. What, Maribel? Okay, well, she's basically reading. That's, uh, she's reading the 23, the passage in 23. Don't make any grave, you know, images. Don't make any. So making an idol, that would uh, be against it, wouldn't it? Yeah, hacer un ídolo, eso sería en contra de él. Mm -hmm. uh, eso es uno de los diez mandamientos. Even if it looks nice. Aunque se mire bonito. Yeah. You know? Well, a carved image of heaven, something in heaven. It goes, it's, goes in specifically. Específicamente, uh, nombra algo que esté en el cielo, yeah. ídolos que sean del cielo. Like you go, you see a lot of people with Mary on the half shell in front of their house. Uh, muchas veces podemos ver los católicos que tienen a la Virgen María en el, um, en frente de su yarda. A lot of people like having angels in their houses, carved images of angels. Muchas uh, personas les gusta tener ángeles. Forbidden by God. Que es prohibido por Dios. Um, yes. Circumcision, that's a pact too. Yep, saying circumcision, that's a covenant. Que el, la circuncisión es pacto. You ladies don't have to worry about that one. Así que las mujeres no se tienen que ocupar de eso. Um, what else? What about, what other co covenants are there? They on? Otro pacto hay. You're next. <laughs> Help Dayon out. What would be a covenant, Margarita? <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so she's listening to you about the uh, carved images, but she's worried about something. ¿Qué es lo que le ocupa a usted? <laughs> that, she has, that she has an elephant collection. She has a collection of elephants. She, she, she says that it, she's, she doesn't have them because she believes that they're lucky or whatever. But she says that her, her daughter would travel a lot and she would get, she would get, she would collect elephants, like elephant figurines from different countries. Why? Por qué? The, the simple answer is yes, but the simple answer is yes. La respuesta más simple es sí. But You're at the beginning of a journey. Pero tú estás al comenzar de un camino. We'll get to that. Después llegaremos a eso. You haven't even celebrated the seven holy days yet. Todavía no has celebrado los siete uh, días santos. Eventually, you will want to get things out of your house that do not glorify God. Eventualmente vas a querer sacar cosas que no agradan a Dios. But right now... You're still learning about the Sabbath. Pero ahorita estás aprendiendo de el día de reposo. You're still learning about the seven holy days. Todavía estás aprendiendo de los siete días santos. We're not going to keep everything on you at the moment. No vamos a echar todo encima de ti al momento. It's a journey from Egypt to the promised land. Es un camino de Egipto a la tierra prometida. Okay. Not to say that you can keep them, but I'm just going to... Teach a baby sheep a baby stuff. No que te puedas quedar con ellos, pero te voy a enseñar con Just for oveja. those who are a little bit further along, okay? Nueva, para I'm aquellos... not saying it's okay. The yo word no... doesn't say it is. Yo no estoy diciendo que esto está bien. La palabra di... no dice que esto está bien. But it's a journey for pero everybody. es un caminar para todos. It is a journey. Es un camino. So... Eventually you'll get to that point and make a decision in así, prayer. Así que eventualmente vas a llegar a ese punto en tus oraciones con el Señor. But you still got to learn about your beloved in heaven. Pero tienes que aprender aún sobre tu amado en el cielo. In his holy days. Y sus días santos. Because 
He's the one who's jealous. Porque él es el que es celoso. And uh, you're, you're, you're Spanish, so I'm sure you've met a jealous Spanish man before. Uh, así que tú eres uh, mujer hispana, así que uh, yo sé que tú quizás conozcas a un hombre hispano que sea celoso. Oh, that's a low blow. Not to say that there's only jealous in Spanish, but... No solamente, no solamente decir, no, no, no solamente decir... Connie's que, over there going, yeah! Que, que, uh, so, Spanish people. No, no, <laughs> no solamente, no solamente... God's jealous! No solamente son los hombres hispanos, sino todos los hombres. <laughs> okay, Betsy you had a question. All right, bring it on in, bring it on in, bring it on in. Okay, vamos a. <laughs> oh, now he's coming around. The, the one that says he isn't jealous, he's a big liar. <laughs> yeah, he says, I don't like the lies. <laughs> Go ahead, her Sa Sa uh, Sandy wants to say something. Yes. Okay. Jealousy okay. is not from the devil. Los celos no son del diablo. Since Jehovah is saying he is jealous. Desde, um, pues, él, Jehová, está diciendo que él es celoso. Okay. So. Wait one sec. Go well, one Betsy is asking spiritually. Spiritually what? Spiritually jealous. Jealous in a good way. And even anger yeah, created. Not jealous because he got something. Wait, 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 wait. We got to have one <laughs> conversation going on. It created all emotions. And jealousy is an emotion. It's how we handle it. Right. It's what we do with it. With our anger, with our love, with our jealousy. That makes it sin. Yeah. Yes. But when you trust. Okay. Then you're not jealous. Cuando uno confía, no eres celoso. Okay. Wait, Steve was next. Steve? Go ahead. <laughs> I like a good chess match. You know, based on what she said, she also said it's a good jealousy. I mean, I would doubt that Yeshua or God had bad jealousy in their hearts. You know, he was jealous because he wants us to come to him. He wants us for him only. He doesn't want us to live no, he doesn't want us to, to take both paths. He just wants us to be his and only his and, and to worship only him and have no idols in our soul. And this is where all this jealousy comes from. He has a right to. Yes. yes. Wait one sec. Right. But what's the difference between jealous and zealous? <laughs> jealousy is pain. Okay, you want to go a little further, Jeff? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one sec, one. Zealous is enthusiastic, which, which, sounds, which sounds energetic, which is cool, which mm -hmm. is uh, invigorating. Whereas jealousy, I think, is drags you down. Okay. You know, people, I'm not saying, suggesting a little game with subject to those weaknesses. 
that we certainly are. Okay, Juan? Well, to take it a step further from what Steve was saying, you know, that uh, he bought us with a price, you know, and being jealous, I think that the Lord being our creator, he knows that there is no one other than him, so he knows that anybody else that we would go after would not have their best interest in us. He knows his enemy is trying to hurt us, so his jealousy, to me, the type of good jealousy is him wanting to see, to make us see, that he is our protector, that he is the one that is going to take care of us. He is Not, Jehovah Ra. Right. He is, the one, he is the one that is our everything. You know, so I think this jealousy is based off of him not wanting his creation to get hurt is really what it is. Thank you for Yeah. <laughs> Mario? Anything. Rabbi, how about Pinchas? He was zealous for God. He gave him the, the, the pact of shalom. Mm -hmm. He deflected his anger on, on everybody. Mario's got it. Pinchas yeah. was zealous. Pinchas era celoso. He stuck a spear through two people. Él lanzó esa, esa lanza, lanza entre, dos, entre dos personas. And God gave him a covenant of shalom forever. Dios le dio un pacto de paz, de shalom, a Pincus, Fineo, I think, right? Fineo, uh, para siempre. Because those two people walked into the Mishkan. Porque esas dos personas entraron al tabernáculo spitting open open rebellion towards God en esa rebeldía en contra de Dios and Pinchas was zealous for the word y Pinchas era celoso para la palabra and he stuck a spear through the two people y él lanzó a esas dos personas in uh, numbers uh, 25 en, uh, en el libro de números Uh, 25. Capítulo 25. Okay. S jealousy. Celos. Uh, celos. You get jealous when you take your eyes off Messiah. Es uh, cuando tomas tus ojos fuera del Mesías. If you serve him first. Si lo sirves a él primero. Then you trust in him. He is your Jehovah Roi. Tú confías en él. Él es tu Jehová Roi. And you don't get jealous. Entonces, él no se encela. If you're serving him. Si tú estás sirviéndolo. Because you know he will be your best friend. Porque tú sabes que él va a ser tu mejor amigo. And he will protect you. Y él te va a proteger. And if somebody's doing something not correct, don't worry. Y si alguien no está haciendo algo correcto, no te ocupes. God will get them. Dios los va a castigar. One way or another. De una manera u otra. One way, this life or the next. De una manera u otra. Okay, but jealousy, he's the only one that can be jealous. Pero hablando de celos, él es el único que puede ser celoso. Because he's El. Porque él es he is El. The top. Es Dios. He made, he is the maker of heaven and earth. Él es el creador de los cielos y la tierra. He's the maker of the hair on your head. Él es el que creó el, tu, el pelo en tu cuerpo, tu He cabeza. You in the place in your womb. Él te conoció en ese lugar, lugar secreto del vientre de tu madre. He is the only one that can be Él es el único que, respaldando, respaldado por las Escrituras, que tiene ese derecho. He has a right. He has a right. Tiene ese derecho a ser celoso. We have a right to be zealous for his word. Y esa palabra, is there another word for zealous in Spanish? O es la misma palabra, celoso? celoso? No, it's, it's, it's not. Z, zealous is jealous. Is, well, One second, Wanda. Because I, th I think they use zealous for uh, zealous and jealous. It is synonymous mm -hmm. in Hebrew. Mm -hmm. It actually is. It's very interesting. In Spanish, I think they use celoso and celoso. I think I think they use. Yeah. Yep, uh, it's celoso. Enthusiastic, eager, fervent, keen, earnest. 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 Interesting. Okay. okay let, so me, let me take let me take a question from okay. from.
from Skype. Go ahead, Wanda. Yes, my question was that um, I don't know if you saw the comment earlier, but uh, God created us in his image, correct? Amen. Okay, so he put that feeling of jealousy, he gave us that emotion, because the emotions that we have, I believe that they're all from God. Yes, but remember what he said. Sin is crouching at your door. You can rule over it. Yes, I understand that. But what I'm saying is that, uh, like I was mentioning before, that God gives us everything that he gives us is for a reason. There's no, He never puts something there for it to be idle or to just, you know, ignore it. There's always a reason for, for it. And just like Pink has had... Uh, the jealousy to do these people in because they were going against God's Torah. Um, would you would you call that jealousy, righteous indignation, zealousness? What would you call that? Uh, okay, la pregunta de Wanda es como Fineos uh, se lanzó a esos dos hombres que lo, que los mató uh, porque estaban uh, en rebeldía uh, en contra del Señor. La pregunta de ella es, ¿qué tipo de celos era ese, ese celo? It, said, it says in the word, he was zealous for the Lord's righteousness. En la palabra está escrita que él era celoso por la justicia de Dios. In Numbers 25, Amid Bar 25. En Números 25. Okay. Now, then we also covered a scripture last week where we were talking about the husband that got jealous over the wife, and he brings her before the priest, right? So, I mean, you know, what I'm trying to say is sometimes the, the, that feeling that we get inside of us is like the scripture says, okay, the wife belongs to the husband and the husband belongs to the wife. If we were not jealous of each other, that doesn't mean, you know, go overboard and, you know, like, like there's obsession and there's jealousy and then there's, you know, overdoing it. But what I'm saying is if something doesn't spark, in, you know, inside of you, I think there's something very wrong. I don't, I mean, I couldn't, even, I couldn't even, I mean, I still, I get, I'm going to be very honest. I get jealous over my husband, you know, he's a nice looking man. But I, I'm not like calling him 24-7 going, okay, where are you or anything like that. It's not like that. And I do go before the Father and I, I know and I trust that he's going to take care of my relationship with my husband. But there's always that little spark inside of me that says, okay, wait a minute, you know, is somebody catching his eye or, you know, am I not doing my part as his wife to be doing that for him? So what I'm saying is that sometimes I think the enemy comes in and mimics what, you know, God is doing, as we've read before in Scripture, but he makes it perverse. It's all like in, in the mind, how we think about things. If we're thinking in the way of the world, then I can see that. But if we're thinking through God's word and through uh, the renewing of the mind that he's giving us, then I believe that we still sh could be could feel jealousy without going overboard with it. That that's my point. Uh, a point well taken. Okay, este fue un punto bien hecho. Uh, ella estaba hablando sobre uh, los celos de uno. Si ella está poniendo su confianza en Dios, que Dios va a proteger la relación que ella tiene. Uh, el celo que ella tiene no, no es uh, de llamar a su esposo cada, cada hora o cada media hora y you no know, estar uh, viendo lo que está haciendo, sino ella está poniendo esa confianza en Dios, um, que Dios va a proteger su matrimonio. Pero si tienes ese celo de que ese pensamiento que una mujer o otra mujer va a, a tener el ojo de tu hombre, de, de tu marido. Are you not trusting that he fears God? Entonces, ¿no estás confiando que él uh, está uh, temiendo a Dios? Because that's where 
Satan gets in. Porque ahí es donde entra Satanás. Each person must fear God first and foremost. Cada una persona debería de temer a Dios primeramente. Then you trust your spouse. Entonces tú confías en tu marido o tu esposa. You must have trust. Tienes que tener esa confianza. Because don't worry. Porque no te preocupes. If he's playing around, si él está jugando ahí detrás, the Lord will get him. el Dios, Dios Todopoderoso, and, lo va a castigar. And if the lady's playing around, y si la mujer también the Lord está will jugando, get you. el Señor va a castigarte. Everything, shh, everything that's covered Todo lo que está cubierto will be uncovered. va a ser descubierto. Ask Mr. Weiner, who's running for mayor. Pregúntenle a Mr. Weiner que está corriendo para para mayor. Well, like I mean. Go ahead, Steve. I just wanna I wanna add to to what to her little experience, I guess. Okay. I was I'm not gonna lie. I was going through the same thing recently. I feared that spark. That when I heard it say spark of somebody else looking at, that's sort of insecurity a little bit from well, my point. Well, my, with me, it was insecurity, and it was also fear. And when you get away from Yeshua, you get distant from Yeshua, these things, the devil is going to come, and he's going to plant these things in you. Okay, so, so, that you can, okay, so Steve está diciendo que él también uh, tenía algo similar eh, donde... Él te, tenía miedo, ¿ok? Tenía miedo, estaba temiendo, uh, pero él también dice, si te alejas, si uno se aleja de Yeshua, ahí es donde va a entrar Satanás y va a empezar, y va a empezar a jugar con tu mente. Right, and he's going to make you feel uh, this way, um, so that you don't stand up and be the man that Yeshua wants you to be. Mm. But what I noticed was that when I start, when I be When I started to come here and started to put Yeshua first mm. before my wife, not that I was. Okay, esto era antes, pero cuando después vine a este lugar y puse a Yeshua primeramente en mi vida, Those fears went away. esos eh, temores ya no los tenía. That insecurity went away. Esa inseguridad ya no la ya no la tengo. Y ahora no estaba teniendo ese mismo temor, ese celo uh, con mi esposa. Ahora ya no pienso en otro hombre que mire a mi mujer. Does, y si lo hace, me hace sentir Wait, bien. Porque, okay. Let's pause there. Okay. Because it comes from trusting God. Okay, porque todo esto viene de confiar en Dios. Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel. Okay, eh, la historia de Cain y Abel. One gave an offering that Jehovah wanted. Uno dio una ofrenda que Jehová quería. One gave an offering that God did not want. Y otro dio una ofrenda que Dios no quería. The one brother gets angry at the other brother. El hermano se, um, se enoja con el otro hermano. Jehová says sin is crouching at your door. Jehová dice que el pecado quiere entrar eh, a tu puerta, está eh, queriendo entrar. But you can rule over it. Pero tú puedes dominar sobre el pecado. Not to say jealousy is an easy one. No, It's de difficult. no decir que los celos es uh, algo fácil, es algo difícil. But you can rule over it. Pero tú puedes dominar ese pecado. I do not worry about my wife. Yo no me ocupo de mi esposa. She's the prettiest woman here. Porque ella es la mujer más bonita aquí. <laughs> What? <laughs> Um, but I trust that she fears God first. Pero yo tengo esa confianza que ella teme a Dios primeramente. One sec. I trust my king. Yo confío en mi rey. 
And that if she were to do something inappropriate, y si ella hiciera algo inapropiado, I trust my king is still on his throne. Yo confío que mi rey está en su trono. And he would take care because I trust him. Y él va a, a cuidar porque él está en su trono. Okay. Jeff, and then we'll Okay. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, so we have to. All right, well, why don't we just wrap it up quickly in prayer so that you okay. can uh, go and then we can, okay, we can we'll fin I guess we'll finish this next week. Entonces, uh, <laughs> terminaremos con eso la próxima semana. All right, thank you, Lord, for okay. your blessings today. Thank you, Lord, for everything you're doing. Thank you, Lord, for uh, your word. May it be a lamp unto our feet. May it guide us in everything we do. In your name, Yeshua. Amen. 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 <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hello, Papa.